The results are in for the Texas Senate District 30 seat race, and we are now heading to a runoff. Well, we certainly are. Drew Springer and Shelley Luther each notching enough votes. Springer with 32 percent. And look at that, Luther with 32 percent. Look at the margin there, just a few votes separating them. That is crazy. Zach Verdia spoke with both candidates today, along with Chris Watts, who finished in fourth place behind lone Democrat Jacob Mentor. So, Zach, how are Luther and Springer feeling about these results tonight? Well, guys, both candidates moving on to the runoff expected a result like this, given the six candidates in the race in less than 40 days to campaign. An unprecedented special election. Just over a month after the Texas GOP nominated District 30 State Senator Pat Fallon for Congress. And less than 40 days later, two candidates stand above the crowded field of six. 68th District Representative Drew Springer and Dallas business owner Shelley Luther are headed to a runoff. Springer spent Election Day trying to get more voters out to the polls and is ready to continue spreading his platform. It was going to be tough for anybody to win outright. And so making the runoff, uh, we look forward to continuing to message to the to the voters of Senate District 30, uh, continue to build support. Luther gained national attention for defying Governor Abbott's shutdown orders by opening up her salon. Now she's looking forward to continuing to hit the road and doing more throughout the district. We're excited we get to see even more of you, and we will be on the road again. Even though we put 15,000 miles just in a few weeks out of our car, we're looking forward to put putting even more and bringing this race home. The sole Democrat, Jacob Minter, jumped out in front, but Springer and Luther pulled ahead when numbers from a majority of counties came in. But with both leading candidates finishing under the 50% threshold, this race will be settled in a runoff election. Continue to build support and uh, let folks know more about who we are and what we will do, continuing the conservative leadership we've shown for the last eight years. Neither candidate showing any signs of slowing down all your support and um, everything that you've done with me so far and I definitely will not let you down and I will you will see me all around the district. The results are in but this race is far from over. And although special election day is now over these campaigns are just beginning. Next up Governor Greg Abbott will set an election runoff date. Okay Zach thank you very much for that report.